This time on Searching for History, we are visiting the Hiram M. Chittenden Locks, otherwise known as the Ballard Locks. In this episode, you'll see the small lock for recreational boats and the large lock for commercial vessels. We'll even show you a tugboat passing through the large lock. been here before? Maybe once, but I don't remember it. Okay. As early as 1854, there was discussion of building a navigable canal between Lake Washington and Puget Sound. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers started planning the project in 1891. On March 18, 1907, the Washington Legislature passed a bill authorizing the construction. The main effort to build the locks began in 1911 under the command of Major Hiram M. Chittenden, who the locks are named after. Here's the, the lock for larger vessels. So this is the Salmon Bay side, and then going out this way is Puget Sound. In July of 1912, for the first time, the gates of the locks were closed, transforming Salmon Bay from salt to fresh water. The first ship passed through the locks on August 3, 1916. On July 4, 1917, the locks were officially opened. In 1997, the Ballard Locks were placed on the list of historic civil engineering landmarks. 
Today, the Ballard locks carry more boat traffic than any other lock in the United States and attract more than one million visitors annually. This is like the traffic controller, except it's slow traffic. Yeah, central control tower. Oh look, we got a tugboat coming in. Yeah, let's let's see how it handles it.
that was the Ballard Locks. That was cool. I'm glad we went. It's amazing you grew up around here and never ever went here before. I think I came here when I was small. And that's why I don't really remember it. <laughs>